All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I see you guys in the chat. Um, I Someone said something about a good setup. Was it Orion? I forget who already said it. Clean setup on ES. Yeah, there's a, I feel like there's a couple good clean setups right now on either one of these indices. I would. I just spotted this SMT here on uh, between ES and NQ. It does favor NQ for longs, which is what I prefer anyway. Anyway, so where we're at today so far is just toggling on these sessions so you guys can get a look. So we've got Asia, London. I just want to see. I didn't check. Okay, we're good. I was just going to check and see if London swept Asia on ES or not. Uh, but we did not. Um, so we came down, in my opinion, just taking this back off. We've got what looks to me like we've now entered the buy side of the curve here on this market maker sell model. And then here's the consolidation that we uh, roll back over here into the market maker buy model. And these, that's, in my opinion, that's what we've got. We came down and we did take out these, all these equal lows that we were trying to see obliterated at the end of yesterday. Um, never happened. And, uh, now we're on the way back up trading through this gray box right here is if you go to a five minute chart, um, just marking, marking out inefficiencies. This would have been, I mean, I ended up just tape reading this cause I'm waiting for the news to come out here in a few minutes, but you can see it traded through this, uh, bearish gap it would have been a good inversion play. You'd still be just chilling kind of right in the middle of, uh, what is this? Probably like 20 points. Yeah. You'd be like, you just be like floating like 10, 12 points in profit at the moment. But um, this is where we're at, guys. I, I believe that this will be the uh, right now. My bias is that we're just going to go take out, take out highs. So we'll see if the news release brings this back down into some of these, you know, inefficiencies. If so, I think we can start looking for longs uh, or I mean, the news could come out here in a couple minutes and just send price all the way through these highs. So that's my bias, guys. That's what I'm thinking for this morning so far. So just keep that in mind. But what I do like right now is, you know, on the 15 minute chart, that same five minute gap also is a 15 minute gap. And I would not mind whatsoever if price were to come back, you know, down into here. Uh, I wouldn't just enter right away just because, I, you know, I'd like to see it respect. It's a pretty big gap as well. So, um, you know, I don't want to enter here with my stop all the way down here. I would just let it show respect. We'll look to scale in and find an entry uh, from there. That's, that's that's my plan, guys. But yeah, I believe for right now, until proven otherwise, <laughs> I believe we've entered the uh, the buy side of the curve. But not really looking to get, uh, yeah, not looking to get short up here. Low resistance liquidity run. To me, this would, I mean, this would be pretty easy to just get ran out. You know, all these inefficiencies, this whole leg up have been getting disrespected and traded off of as inverse now, so. There's no really reason for us to believe this is going to hold. I'm just going to do light risk, guys. If we get a pullback, I will enter. I'll probably just do like one contract. I'm going to enter inside this little one minute gap to just see if we can go finish off that buy side here. After that first week of December, there we go. All right, guys. So ignore this idea. It would have worked out if we got, you know, tapped in here. Um, but no cigar. I'm looking up on these other time frames. Like here we're in a two minute gap now, so. Just for our sake, it might be in our best interest to maybe jump up a time frame or two like we're doing. Really let this uh, kind of prove to us that we're going to shift to the downside before we just uh, YOLO in. Because as of now, there's really been zero reason to think we're ready to go short. We'll stay on this two minute. Um, I like, I like it though, if we can get this two minutes to come down and close through, play off this as inverse. And um, I don't think stop would be too bad. You know, you could go all the way above this high at about 20 points. Let's see what it looks like. But the reality is I would cut the position early if like price came back and then closed again back above the inverse, I would just cut the position. And really this move would really be, I'd just be looking to get like 50 points or up close to 50 points out of it. Nice little one to two, a little over. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, if this just keeps pumping up, then once we get up to this constant encroachment, I'd like to, um, I'm assuming that would line up better with this macro that's coming in 14 minutes. The floating line represents consequent encroachment. I'll, I'll mark it. Weekly FVG consequent encroachment. So the 50% mark of, 50% mark of the weekly fair value gap that we're in. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, if, if we were gonna get long today, 
I wanted it to be before all this buy side was taken. All right, guys. We're floating around constant encroachment of this gap. Let's see if we can get a candle close. Minutes. Minutes um, or so left on this two-minute candle. Um, the nice thing about it, the one minute would also close below this if this closes on the two minute. Just want my risk to be under half percent. Like I said, I'll close it if price comes, a candle comes back up and closes above the gap again. So this risk might not even end up being my whole risk. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to risk more than half percent. No close yet. Can we get the close? Can we get the close? If we don't, we start working higher. It's gonna look like another macro here in nine minutes setup, I would say. All right, guys. Yeah, I mean, if we push this high. I'm just waiting on the next macro. I at least I at least want to pull back to the to the bigger gap. I'm not just gonna jump in. If we get a pull back to there, I'll jump in. Alright, I hopped in. Oh, of course I got a bad fill. I hopped in guys. Um I'm just gonna put stop above here. I'm gonna be a little stingy with my stop today. Mainly because I got a bad fill. If you wanna put your stop here you can. But either way, if this if this doesn't hold, it's probably gonna fail. In profit for the moment. Nice reaction. Going to go risk-free probably here. And then see if we can get some follow-through. Like I said, I'd like to trade it down to this 15-minute gap or even like these these lows right here. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm in. I'm risking 14 and a quarter points. Very possibly could pull back up in here for sure. Big inefficiency. Macro incoming too. So People always hate on me for using limit orders. But that's actually the main reason why I like limit orders, is they give you the best possible fill. All right, we left the two-minute gap here. A little bit of a unicorn here as well, right? So you got this low. We did come out and take out these intermediate internal highs here, right? So got a little breaker setup going on there as well. Obviously, you guys can partial as you wish. Like, if you wanted a partial here instead of a one to two, you know, do whatever you want. Bobby, they ever find that gorilla that escaped from the zoo and punched you in the eye? No, no. No, 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 mama. So, so, it's, so it continues. I mean, if I lose, I lose. I'll just not have a white Christmas. So, like, there we go. All right, guys, I'm risk free now. Whatever happens, happens, okay? <clears throat> wait for the close, Tyler. Wait for the close. All right, well, I took one off because I didn't like what it just did there. Oh, I didn't really know. I should have marked this out. We hit a 15-minute gap. That makes sense. I should have marked that out. That's, uh, that's my bad. Listen, you guys got me talking about politics. I'm in a whole different dimension. All right, guys, stopped at break even on the rest. But hey, either way, green day. I mean, we can't complain too much. We'll take it. We got one winning trade. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed that we didn't get the, you know, any longs earlier in the morning. Um, like I said, just waited for the news, um, and there really wasn't an opportunity, in my opinion. After that, we almost, we almost got it on the one minute. We're like a point away. But it is what it is. Caught a good trade. Otherwise, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys then, and I'll see you guys on the session tomorrow morning, okay? Peace out, everybody. Enjoy your day.